Welcome to my workshop. So we're going to be getting back on the uh, Ford Ranger. Now this is a 1989 Ford Ranger, or at least it's the start of it. Uh, so far to date, we have the bed closely finished, the tailgate. We've started working on the hood, which will be um, hinged. And we started to lay some skin down the side of styrene on top of these uh, styrene ribs that we've glued on. Now what we have to do is to create the uh, rounded piece that goes on the top part here. And we do that with a vacuum mold. We also need to create the wheel tubs in the rear. We're also going to do that with the vacuum mold. And um, if we have room, we'll try to get the, uh, the roof in there to do it all at one, one shot. Alright, so let's get started. The vacuum forming pieces I made um, worked out gr really well. The um, you know they, they weren't a perfect fit, but you know it's it's good enough I could um, massage them down into the ribs that I have in place and get those uh, glued down with a solvent and then backed and uh, with the uh, super glue and hold it nice and firm. Uh, the front was a little more difficult because it's you know in the back it's pretty much straight. It's mostly straight to this point. And the front kind of does like a compound curve and tapers in. 
but uh, all in all not too difficult. So I have both sides complete and I'm ready to kind of move on. I've started drawing lines down the side. So this will be the lower um, piece that that will be then tapered back into the body. There's going to be another matching piece that goes around the wheel arch that tapers back in. And so that will pretty much be both sides done once I get that. Uh, so I have to fill in for the tail lights as well as do all the work in the front for the uh, grill. But anyway, just going to continue on with this and uh, see how much more I get done. The lower section has been uh, placed on and as well as this upper section, remember I have bent this into place and get this in pretty, uh, pretty decent shape for what I need to work on for the side of the Ranger. Now I put a coat of primer on here and that just lets me easily see all the uh, imperfection I need to work out. So there's a lot of uh, work along here that needs to be filled in as well as um, you know transitions between the uh, epoxy putty and the body and, and other little little areas here and there. All can be filled in with, uh, with different types of fillers and stuff. So I have the other side uh, mostly done. It's a very light coat of primer. because I have to come back and uh, sand these down. And once I get these sanded down, then I'll put a heavier coat on. That'll give me a good uh, way to see, like I said, all the uh, imperfections that need to be worked on. But all in all, it's uh, coming along very well. Very happy with how it's turning out so far. Uh, still got a fair amount to go, but uh, making good progress. Uh, looking forward to uh, getting on to finishing this thing up. Until then, we'll see you in the rocks.